Welcome to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up for the week of October 11th to October 17th. In-person early voting for the state election will start this Saturday, October 19th, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the hearing room at the Somerset Town Office Building, located at 140 Wood Street. Voters will be voting for President, U.S. Senator, U.S. Representative, State Representative, State Senator, County Commissioner, and some other officers, as well as on five referendum questions. The early voting will continue at the Town Office Building from October 21st to October 25th from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on October 28th to November 1st from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. In-person early voting will also take place on October 26th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. If voters don't cast their votes during those times or by mail, the polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. on November 5th in the Student Dining Center at Somerset Berkeley Regional High School. At a joint meeting of the Somerset School Committee and Somerset Berkeley Regional School Committee on Tuesday, the committees voted to give School Superintendent Jeffrey Schoonover a 6.5% pay increase. The pay increase is based on his job evaluation, salaries of area school superintendents, and his job to manage two school districts. Before the raise, Schoonover's salary was just over $184,000. The Somerset Berkeley Regional School District is going to have an assessment done on the condition of its artificial turf field and track. The life expectancy of the field was eight years. The field is now 12 years old. School committee member Victor Machado said he wants the school district to also do some research to see if other high schools have gone back to natural grass fields. In sports, the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School Boys Cross Country Team captured the South Coast Conference Championship on Tuesday with a close win over Old Rochester. The Blue Raiders ended the regular season with a 4-0 record in the SCC. Matt Barboza was the first to cross the finish line for the Blue Raiders and came in second place overall. Logan Cabral scored some key points for the team, passing a runner from Old Rochester who had been in third place before Cabral took that spot. Others who figured in the scoring in the meet included Jacob Stevens, Jake Faria, Mason Rigo, Max Kelly, and Garmel Gilato. With a 5-3 win over Greater New Bedford Volk on Wednesday, the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School boys soccer team qualified for the state tournament. For the Blue Raiders, Mason Denault had three goals, Shai Berman had one goal, and Angel Gonzalez scored the other goal. The Somerset Berkeley Regional High School girls soccer team improved its record to 14-0 on the season with a 5-1 win over Greater New Bedford Volk on Wednesday. For the Blue Raiders, Ari Sessia and Leila Vanancio each scored two goals. Sophia Thornton had one goal. The Blue Raiders are ranked number three in Division Two. And the Somerset Music Town Festival's Grand Day Parade will be held this Saturday, October 19th, starting at 1 p.m. The parade steps off from the corner of Luther Avenue and County Street and continues up County Street until it gets to Gifford Avenue. After the parade, there will be field show performances by marching bands at the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School football field starting at 4 p.m. Thank you for watching Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up. Tune in next week for more news from around Somerset.